MovieWeb.com. Well, the first thing I want to know is midway through this movie, we see you in a garbage can chasing a girl. What was that about, and what was going on there? Well, there were student bodies, and if I had had any idea of how my life was being really put in a box, um, or in a garbage can, I had no idea. It had only three wheels. So it was, uh, uh, afterward, as I've seen the film, I realized, well, that was really quite something, because I was the only one who, who could possibly fit in that garbage can, and, and just l letting go down the runway with, that, with those three wheels. It uh, was quite a, quite, a, quite a thing that I didn't realize. Uh, and, and you know, when you get involved in a movie, I know perfectly well how uh, many people take their lives in their hands uh, it, and if they're naive the way I was, or I believe everything, you know, it's, some people do. I happen to be one of those kinds of people. If they tell me to do something, I do it. If they told me to uh, jump off a cliff, well, I'd probably do it. <laughs> no way. Isn't that strange? I know um, uh, Avedon had me up on a, uh, they had built this set in Queens, a huge set. It was a real tall, tall, I am not exaggerating, very, very tall set. And he, uh, they uh, simulated, you know how people do backstage, they uh, just put together a few rungs on a, on a uh, ladder, and I climbed up that ladder. Uh, I, I turned halfway up and, and I said to Avedon, I said, this is really very steep and it's very... He said, oh, Mimi, think nothing of it. So he ran up in back of me, ran up to the top of this thing, which was very high up, on this rickety made ladder. They made it just then and there. And when I got to the top, uh, of this uh, uh, parapet, parapet, uh, para, what is it, parapet? Anyway, whatever. Uh, when I got to the top, I had he I had heels on about seven inches high, and they had me on the edge, on the literally on the edge of this sort of cliff, and I had a cello. They placed a cello, an honest-to-goodness cello. So my feet were trembling, but they were on the edge, and I was playing the cello <laughs> like this. I, I wonder if anybody ever heard that cello, that, because the trembling of the sound must have been horrendously fearful, like a spooky a ghost of some kind. I don't think I'm describing this with the uh, tenseness and the fear that was in my soul as I was doing this. And I kept thinking, well, it will be over in a few minutes, and I thought I'll be over too. <laughs> and uh, down below I heard one of the aides saying, don't worry, Richard, she's just afraid of height. Mimi, where is that picture? I, Avedon, uh, of course, is dead, but uh, they have that in well, the archives. Why haven't I ever seen it? Well, I, I, I wonder. I don't know. It's a, it's, it was a big Calvin Klein. Uh, I'm thing. S this is what gets me crazy. I'm so frustrated because there's so much stuff that Mimi's done that I haven't even seen. I know. It's my fault for not recalling it to my mind yeah. and memory. It really is. It's. Uh, I don't know what happens uh, that I don't recall those things. You see, I think 
No, it's all right. Let's yeah. Let's go on to the I, next, I know. next question. Well, I was gonna be, say we'd be like this for hours. Well, that's all right with I me because this is very interesting to me. But how hard was it for you to accumulate all the stuff that is in the movie, and how did you decide which scenes from her movies that you wanted to use throughout the body of that? Well, there there was a a large amount. Uh, we tried to use almost everything that we could uh, that you know portrayed Mimi in the in the sort of an oddball way, <laughs> but um, I, there weren't any that I rejected, I except maybe one where you couldn't see her, well, a few of them you couldn't see her that well. Um, and we're very lucky now to have something called um, fair use, mm -hmm. so that I didn't have to buy any of these clips. Because she was in it and the documentaries about her, we were given the clips. Oh, well, that's cool. Which was very cool and saved a huge amount of money. Now, what has this 10-year relationship been like for the both of you? For both of us? Yeah, for this well, whole 10 years this I've known has Mimi been going since on. since I was young, since I was six, actually. And then I met her again in my 20s, and then I started filming, I don't know, my 40s, I think. Um, so uh, we're, we're very comfortable with each other. I mean, Mimi is one of these people that you just say, I'm coming over, and okay, fine. She won't, doesn't clean up the house, nothing. It's just <laughs> the way it is. <laughs> you know, there's, the, no, they don't bring out the silver when I arrive. <laughs> it's hidden. Do you think we'll ever find it? I don't think so. <laughs> is it easy for you to be objective in the making of this, having known her for so long? Well, I tried to uh, to show a life, and I tried to do it as fair as possible by having, you know, Mimi's point of view, which is very strong, and also the kids' point of view, which is strong. It could it could have been a lot stronger, but I chose not to dwell on that because then it could be a film about the children of Mimi Waddell, instead of Hats Off. Um, I, I think that I was as, I was fair. No, I think it, it wasn't difficult. Too. I think so. Yes, absolutely, absolutely honest. And from uh, Jill's, uh, it wasn't as though Jill had a point of view to begin with. She just accepted what there was in in the most gentle, kind, and universal sort of way. A totally broad um, uh, person, as she is I mean, in, I don't, in herself. I don't like to hit someone over the head and say, this is what the film is about. In mm -hmm. any of the films I've ever made, I, I keep it open. Um, mm -hmm. I prefer that because I think, it's, I think people should use their imaginations. And uh, there's so many different levels to this film, and it, it can be complex, it can be fun. You know, it's just, let, let you decide, the audience decide, and the audience seems to really enjoy this. Oh, okay. goodness. <laughs> yeah, it's a great movie. I enjoyed it. I watched it last night. Mm -hmm. And I'll ask one more question, because I know they'll get mad at me if I run over too much with my time. But have you ever thought about moving out here to carry oh, on I your work? I have never thought about moving from the East Coast. No, I never have. I know it's beautiful, I know the weather is divine, generally. Uh, I know everybody thinks uh, in the back of their minds, in their subconscious, about an earthquake. Uh, but uh, it, I just don't think I could move away from the change of seasons and the grayness that comes Many uh, oh in March and parts of April and and the February uh, a glint of the to me that is a writer's paradise that grayness I couldn't move 